Hi, my name is Jesper and I'm a software developer. I will tell you how to make a more uh, advanced project in the project editor by writing your own code. I assume that you know the basics in how to make a normal project uh, and I will not tell you how to use all the methods. For that I refer to the code scripting manual on our website or the help files in the project editor. It is important to know that the code we write must not contain any infinite while loops because the code in the control system is single threaded. We want to make sure that our uh, project editor uh, supports the code editing part, so we go to settings, select code scripting settings, and make sure that we have this check mark here, uh, which will enable the code scripting items. So we start by opening the needs space for project. Um, here we have uh, an Epson projector and we want uh, also to use an amplifier. We simply just drag it here. Um, in the interface designer we can see we have one page with two buttons. We want to make another button. Drag it in here. And this we want to just type PC2. We go to assign buttons. Uh, as we can see here, we already have uh, some code on, on the PC1, which is uh, indicated by this green icon. Uh, a normal button is indicated by the red button, uh, sorry, the red icon. So now we want to uh, just make this a uh, normal button by dragging the PC uh, sequence onto the button. We click on the button convert it to a code button and we will be warned that uh, when converting this to a code button we cannot undo the action. We click OK and as we can see here we have some uh, auto generated code uh, which will actually do the same as the normal button. Uh, now we want to control uh, our amplifier as we just uh, attached. So we select that from our sequence list and select the input button, drag it into the code here and then the code will be generated for us. Uh, we can also um, use the toolbox to just uh, make some other functions. We have a list here of all, all our functions uh, which I will not get more into uh, in this tutorial. Um, we simply just uh, go to, um, right now here we have uh, the key pressed, we go to the key up where we can tell what to happen when, the, uh, when we uh, release the button again. Uh, this is for when, when uh, pressing the button and this is for uh, releasing the button again. And we have some different ev events which is actually just a shortcut for the system code which I will show you in a minute. So we click OK. So we can see here that this also gets this uh, green icon. Uh, we have the off button here, which already already has uh, an off sequence attached. We convert this to a code button. Click OK. But right now it's not working as uh, an off button on our website. So then we have the option here to make this function as um, as an off button. So, um, we want to try to compile the project, so we click uh, the F7 button. We can see here we just have some warnings, we don't care about them right now. So, we click OK. Then we go to our system code. Uh, we want to make the system a little unique, so we have written some code here in the main which uh, will be executed as soon the um, the system is uh, initialized we as we can see uh, enable the two-way communication we can uh, send out uh, a command on the rs232 port and if we are not sure how to to use this function we can press the f1 button and we can see all about it uh, until that this one has some optional parameters indicated by those square brackets. We have an example on how to use um, the method. 
Then we can see we have also entered something in the global uh, variables. Uh, we have one here um, it, uh, that we want to use in our RS232 receive. So when we receive uh, data from the uh, device attached, uh, let's say it's it's sending a start, um, then we can set this uh, variable to true, and if we receive a, a stop command from the device, we can set the variable to false. So, uh, the final thing is our uh, timer, which uh, our timer one second, um, where we can send out the RS232 um, command on port one, as indicated here. We're just sending the hello world command um, if the variable is set to true. So uh, when we upload this uh, project, we will see that it immediately starts uh, sending, as we can see here in the main, uh, the hello world command. And uh, it keeps doing that uh, in our timer, uh, timer one second, as soon as this variable is true and the device is sending uh, stop and the timer stops uh, sending the RS232 command. Thank you for watching this tutorial.